Hey guys, Tony here from Rolling with the Bowens, and today we're going to talk about the Blackstone Grill Adventure Series, the 17 inch. That's what we've purchased, and we're going to talk about all the good stuff we've made on this grill. So stay tuned. Hello, everybody. That's me, Tony, and my wife, Jill, and together we are Rolling with the Bowens. So in 2017, we decided to give up the normal stick and break life for a life of adventure on the road. So now we are nomadic and living full time in our RVs. So come along with us as we travel the world and get ourselves into all kinds of adventures. Ooh, some green pepper and onion for the Italian sausage. Mm. So now we're gonna try some fajita. Good old steak fajitas on the grill. Okay, so we've made a whole bunch of things on this Blackstone grill. Now we're gonna keep it simple with the hot dogs, which never had the Nathan's jumbo hot dogs. Highly recommend those. Okay guys, so we've made some of the simplest dishes, anywhere from hamburgers, brats, hot dogs, up to steak, chicken fried rice, beef fried rice, just regular old chicken on here. We haven't tried pizza yet, we heard a lot of people trying those, but you know, we've been very happy with this so far. I think it's just probably one of the better gadgets we bought since uh, we've been full-time RV. I do have a couple complaints about the Blackstone Grill, which these are things that can be taken care of by just getting a bigger propane source. Now these run on the one pound little Coleman bottles uh, or variation to the Coleman bottle. Um, the bad thing is when you're seasoning one and you season it well, you pretty much go through one whole bottle of gas seasoning your Blackstone. So I would invest in the actual adapter to where you can run it off a bigger propane tank. I think you'd be a lot happier off of that or even retrofit it to where you can run it off of your RV's propane. Once you get that taken care of, it's pretty nice, pretty easy. Now the other thing is the Blackstone is a little bit on the heavy side, so you do got to keep that in consideration for weight. Um, it's not nothing that's going to like completely take up all your capacity, but it's definitely a little bit on the heavier side. You definitely want to be mindful that that's a little bit heavier. But there are so many different things that I've found that we can do with the Blackstone. Anywhere from you know the bacon and eggs come out great, steaks, which a lot of people were talking about, the steaks were not going to come out very good on the Blackstone. Now, we've grilled a number of steaks, and uh, the Bowens have been guilty of going out and buying steaks just to grill on this thing. But uh, we've been very happy with the, the product that's coming off of there. been very happy with Blackstone altogether. Um, the whole seasoning it is very simple. Like I said, it's just use a little bit of propane to get it done. And But other than that, it really has been probably one of the best purchases we've made in addition to all the other gadgets we have. So if you guys are considering the Blackstone, definitely uh, look into it a little harder I think you'd be very happy I don't think we really need the bigger one like I said it's just me and her so 17 inch is actually very very substantial amount of grill and grill surface for us because really you don't need all that grill surface because it just wants to make you more, more stuff on there and you grill it and you get a little chunkier and you know but I know it's all about living happy and all that stuff but like I said the 17 inch is more than enough for the average RVers and I think uh, if you guys purchase a Blackstone I think it'd be uh, Probably one of the good things that you, uh, one of your go-to gadgets, I guess, in the camping, the camping scene. So, uh, if you guys got a Blackstone, leave it down in the comments what you guys think of the Blackstone. And uh, if you got some good recipes that you want to share with us or everybody else following the channel, please leave it down in the comments, and we'll talk to you guys down the road. Bye.